Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So recently my oldest son Riker has started to climb out of his crib. So obviously for safety reasons we needed to transition him out of his crib and into a normal bed. So if you guys have followed me for any amount of time or have watched any of my videos then you know that I love a high-end look on a budget <laughs> because I don't want to spend all that unnecessary money whenever I know that I can get that same look for less. So you guys know I had to build <laughs> Riker a bed. So that's what I'm going to be sharing in today's video. I actually was scrolling on Pinterest to look for some ideas and came ac across this blog post by The Mary Thought and I will have that linked in the description box below. So I liked the concept of it and the headboard situation but there were some things about it that I wanted to change for my design personally. So I am not going to be following it super closely, but I'll have that linked for you guys if you do want to. So we're going to go ahead and get into it, and I'm going to have all of the measurements and everything. We did ours for a twin size, so I'll have all of that in the description box below so that you guys don't have to try and write anything down while you're trying to watch the video. So let's go ahead and jump into it. Okay guys, so here is a list of all of the things that you're going to need for this project. I'll have this listed in the description box below as well as all the measurements and everything like that. So to start, I'm going to cut a 45 degree angle off of one end of my 1x6 boards. To get a straight cut, I'm clamping down my speed square to use as a guide for my circular saw that I've adjusted to cut at a 45 degree angle. Once I've got both of the 1x6 boards angled, I'm measuring 76 inches from the tip of that angle and marking it down on the board. Then after I have moved my circular saw back to 90 degrees, I'm cutting the 1x6 boards down to size. Next up, I'm taking the remainder of one of the 1x6 boards and cutting a 45 degree angle on both sides so that it's 39 inches from the tip of each point. Next, I'm taking the remainder of the other 1x6 board and cutting it down to 37 and a half inches long. And these four pieces are going to make up the frame for the base of the bed frame. And I did a dry fit just to make sure that everything fit together well. Next, I took the 37 and a half inch board and drilled four pocket holes into each end. And once I had my pocket holes drilled, I applied the wood glue to the end of the board and placed it between my two long one by six boards and just attached it using one and a fourth inch screws. Next, I attached the mitered edges together and I did this with wood glue and brad nails. And once this base was assembled, I began building the legs. So I measured out and marked one and a fourth inches on a two by four and then measured nine inches tall. And this bed is for my three year old, so I wanted to keep it low to the ground. So you can adjust these measurements if you would like a taller bed, but this is what I'm doing for this one. So using my miter saw, I cut the two by four down to nine inches, and then I adjusted my blade to cut at a 20 degree angle and lined it up with the one and a fourth inch mark so that we got this really cool mid-century modern angled legs. And I repeated this for the other three legs as well. To attach the legs, I flipped the frame over and measured two inches up from the bottom and marked where the legs should go. And then I went ahead and screwed them into place and I used four two inch screws in each leg so they were really secure. Next, I flipped the frame right side up again and installed a two by four along the insides of the frame using two inch nails so that it sat flush with the bottom of the one by sixes. And I did this on both sides. And these 2x4s are going to be what holds up the bed slats that I'm actually using right here to hold up the 2x4 so I can screw it into place. 
So I'm using my table saw to cut a one and a half inch strip from a 5 4 inch by 6 inch by 8 foot board. And it was actually really difficult to keep the board straight since it was so long. So I decided to cut the board down to size before running it through the table saw again. So I ended up with two 24 inch pieces and two 36 inch pieces. Next I gave these pieces a really good sanding to get rid of any of the saw marks and also rounded off the edges. Then I cut down my 3 4 inch dowels into four 21 and a half inch pieces. Next I went ahead and made a frame with the four pieces that I cut and attached them together with wood glue and brad nails and then I realized that I did not put the dowels in. So. I had to tear this piece off the side and went ahead and marked the holes for the dowels to go in and measured them out every seven and fourth inches. And then using a three fourth inch Forstner bit, I drilled the holes five eighth inch deep so that the dowels could fit into place and then hammered them in. And then since the pieces came apart much too easy earlier, I decided to screw the pieces back together instead of using brad nails. So I drilled a hole to prevent the wood from splitting and then attached them together with wood glue and two inch screws. Once the headboard was assembled, I sanded down the bed frame and rounded off the corners and the edges. And then I filled in the nail holes with stainable wood filler. Once that was dry and sanded down, I went in with Early American Stain, which is a really nice warm medium brown, and I'm applying it all over the bed frame and the headboard. And once the stain had dried and aired out, I brought all the pieces inside, and my camera didn't record it, but I attached the headboard with three screws, one on each side and one in the middle, and then added this metal brace that I cut down from a fourth inch thick flat steel bar and this was just for added support. And that's gonna finish off this bed frame. You guys, I am so happy with how this bed turned out and even more excited about it because Riker is excited about it and loves his new big boy bed and is sleeping awesome in it. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and definitely keep an eye out because this has for sure made me want to completely redesign their room. So I'm definitely going to be doing a room makeover to their bedroom very soon. So keep an eye out for that and make sure that you follow along on Instagram because I post updates and everything behind the scenes of things that I'm working on so that you guys can get a sneak peek into what I'm doing. So if you aren't already, consider subscribing to my channel and turn on your notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my upcoming videos. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.